Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, back again with a new video, and today I've got an interesting one for you because we're talking about which laptop or computer is the best for being a designer. If you don't know who I am, I'm Will Patterson. I'm a hand lettering artist, a logo type designer, and a general graphic designer that specializes in designing logos for company and brands. This means as well as having knowledge on how to draw, I also know how to use Adobe products and design software. The biggest thing that people ask when they first get into design is what sort of computer do I need to be able to run the software that I need to run? Which one do you prefer and why? So it's probably not any news for you, but I am an Apple fanboy, hence why I own a Mac everything and Apple everything. I have an iPad, an iPhone 10, an iMac, a MacBook Pro. I've got the lot and I've got an Apple Watch too. And that's because I like the Apple ecosystem. It is a lot different to every other ecosystem as it just works well and I have no issues with them really. But just before I decided to go to America, I decided to update my laptop, which was a MacBook 13 inch Retina from 2012 and I updated that to the new MacBook 15 inch with Retina top spec. The reason why I updated my MacBook is because I simply need to be able to edit videos on the go and work on the go. So this means that I have the option of being in my office which is where I am now where I can edit videos on my main computer the iMac or I could go out if I wanted to into the town to record videos and then edit them wherever I go. So I don't need to worry about being in this office all the time. So as for me as a designer, choosing a laptop or choosing a computer is really easy because I've been using different computers for over 10 years now in my career. So I know exactly what I need in a computer to be able to run it. Now, if you're looking to go into graphic design, then I would suggest you get a computer that is powerful enough to use the software and a bit more because that's gonna help you out and future-proof your laptop. Now, for instance, I I got the new MacBook Pro 15 inch for nearly 3,000 pounds. I know it's really pricey in the UK and America, it's a bit different, I believe. Now, the reason why I went for Mac is because I believe all the Adobe software runs perfectly on the Mac. I'm just so used to it as well. I like to have Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, Adobe Audition, and everything else. I love to have all these apps on my computer. And that's just so I don't limit myself. So the more apps I have, the more things I can do on it. Now the next reason why I bought the MacBook Pro rather than a normal PC or a good laptop that's an actual gaming laptop is because I don't really play games on my laptop or do anything like that out and about. Sure I think I play games at home but I don't actually play computer games on my laptop and I don't need it for that functionality. So for you if you're a gamer or someone who is looking to get into design but you also really want to have a computer for gaming on then I would suggest getting a PC you don't really need a Mac for that. Even if you are a Mac now and you want to go and get a computer that can do everything that you need for gaming, go for PC. But if you're like me and you don't really play games and you want something that is reliable, something that will just work properly, the MacBook Pro is probably your best choice. Another thing to consider when you're buying hardware like computers or phones for your business is how do you run your business? Are you specifically only working in an office? Well, if if that is the case, you don't need to spend the extra money on a laptop. You just need a really good desktop. And most of the time, Apple's desktops run better than MacBooks and they're cheaper. For instance, my first Mac was this iMac here and I love it. It is a very expensive machine clocking in at about 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds but it's still working now. And I got this like before I started my career properly. Before you saw any of these videos, I got this computer and it still runs and edits like a machine. Back then I did not need to go and do design work outside. I didn't need to go ahead and travel. Nowadays I do, I travel to Europe, I go to America. And if I travel on holiday with Naomi this year, I need to be able to have something that I can use that will actually let me edit videos for you guys, but also something that will give me the perfect speed and non-compromising functionality of a desktop. And I found that personally within a MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now, am I telling you guys today that you must go and get a MacBook Pro because you see every other designers using Macs? No, I'm not saying that at all. The reason why people use Macs is because they're reliable. They're, there's a thing where people don't believe you can get viruses on it. That's not true because I got one on my laptop when I first got it and that was like adware. I think a lot of people 
just like to have Max because of the way they are. They are super slim, comfortable, they work really well, they're non-compromising, they've got SSDs in them. If you drop it, they might break, but if you don't drop it and you're careful with it, it runs like a beast. Another reason to get a MacBook Pro or an iMac or an Apple product for that case is the screen. The screen is amazing on these things. On a desktop PC, you may have to go and buy a 4K screen if you want one. The MacBook Pro, I don't think it has 4K, but it's got a ridiculously high resolution screen for you to use for Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or anything like that. It just looks amazing amazing and so crisp to be on and plus all the applications open really quick on the MacBook Pro because of the SSD. So if you're going for a computer this year and it's not a MacBook, make sure that you have an SSD in your computer. Computers are really important in the world of design, but they're not the most important thing. Obviously, some of you guys will be young and you can't just go out and buy a MacBook or a PC just like that. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I need a new computer. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't. You do not need a new computer to run these softwares on them. I'll tell you a little story about me. When I was like 13, I was using a bad laptop and I, I wanted a big computer because I knew that it would help me, but I learned all the fundamentals of like the software that I was using on the bad laptop. It took forever, but I learned and it worked. And I was asking my parents if I can get a better computer and they were like, no, you can use that one. And I don't regret that decision actually, because if I got a new computer, I'd probably be doing other things on there rather than actually doing my design work. Now, design is a very easy function functionality within the computer. Most computers can run them. So if yours isn't working as optimally as you see mine working or your friends or a MacBook's working, don't worry, just use what you have. What you have in front of you is what you should use at first so you can get an idea of the software and just to learn. And then when you've got enough clients or when you've saved up enough money, then you can go and justify buying a new laptop for your work and take your work to the next level. Now saying that speed is a huge issue as well. The quicker the computer, the faster you can get the work done is what I say. Now, if I'm editing videos on a brick or on a potato, then I'm not gonna get any videos out. But if I'm editing videos on this iMac, then I'm going to get videos out a bit quicker. And if I'm editing videos on an iMac Pro, top spec, 12,000 pound computer, then I'm gonna be able to get like 10 videos out a day because it's so easy to render on it. Obviously that's not a design thing, that's more of like a videographer thing. But for me, that is what I'm thinking about when I'm buying new tech products like computers and things. So the moral of this video is use whatever is in front of you if you can't get a new computer. And if you can get a new computer and you can afford it and you will justify spending money on that. Go for something that makes sense for you. No one should be telling anyone what computer to go for. As long as the computer runs programs perfectly, like my laptop does, it runs it flawlessly. Hence why I stay with Apple because it runs flawlessly on there and everything is just super easy for me to transfer. And I have an iPad as well. That's the reason why I chose Mac. And you guys can choose PC if you want to, or choose something that's even more powerful than my laptop and cheaper. I don't mind. It's all to do with you and what you have in front of you to use as a resource. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please press that like and subscribe button. And also, and YouTube has also said that you'll basically never see any notifications of my videos unless you press that bell notification button there. So be part of the notification squad on this channel because as soon as I upload, I talk to you guys for about 10 to 20 minutes as soon as I upload in the comment section. Let me know down below what you'll be using and why and I'll probably reply back because I find this sort of tech stuff really fun. Also, this video has been sponsored by FreshBooks. FreshBooks is a cloud accounting service that I've been using for the over a year now and it is amazing. It allows me to get payments even quicker from my clients when I'm sending invoices. It allows me to gather up all my expenses automatically from a card or from a website. It works super well. And the best part about it is that if someone has seen your invoice, it tells you. So no one can say that they're late paying the invoice because they never saw it because you can say to them that I have seen that you have seen that invoice. If you'd like 30 days of fresh books for completely free, risk-free, click that link down below, sign up, and also tell them how you learned about them, which is through me, Will Patterson. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Press that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this video as well to your design forums if you've got any. This might be really handy and helpful for anyone who doesn't know anything about computers but wants to start in design. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.
Oh, <laughs>